Hello, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. Um, last time we had our big battle of Red Cliff where we saved them from a zombie apocalypse, and that was great. And most everyone survived except for the mayor. And the mayor was kind of cool, so that stinks. But, um, can't think about that now, because we got to get into that castle and find out why the heck this is happening and save the day. Um, and I just noticed this over here. This is some Andraste's Grace. Which is a gift for Leliana. She will appreciate it. I'll give it to her back at camp sometime. But for now, let's go ahead and talk to Van Tegan and get this show on the road. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. Wow. Uh, why didn't you enter the castle in the first place? I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's breath. Hello? Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Uh... Again, where's Admiral Akbar? We will need more of an explanation than that. What? I... Who is this man, Tigan? Were it not for his help, Isolde, I would not be here. I owe him my life. And we crush the heads of rude women when we feel like it. Just so you know. High five, Shale. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Isolde. We had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Hmm. What about Arl Eamon? Is he still alive? He is. He's being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the Mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Tell me about this mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. One of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Loghain's hired him. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I, I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tigan. Please. Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. Not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and the husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Tigan, I do not have much time. What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor! Please come back with me. Must I beg? 
So why must Tegan go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tegan. Tegan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Enough questions. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isol. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. What good will that do? I'm not certain, to be honest. I cannot let Isol return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I can't let you do this. It's insane. What choice do either of us have? If your business with Eamon is important, you're going to have to go inside to find him. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Man, this Ben Tegan guy is hardcore. Hmm. Of course you're expendable. No, no. We must end this evil, no matter what. Greater evils have been loosed on the world, but I will not argue with you. So we are just going to stand in with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. I'm surprised Morgan didn't get all pissy with me. <laughs> oh, you're gonna go into the castle and recruit people to help you fight the darkspawn. <laughs> All right, so Ben Tegan is going to run interference with whatever is in the castle while I sneak in the back. Actually, I'm going to save it here just in case something weird happens. All right, in we go. To a load screen. Actually, not too bad in this game for the most part. Okay, so here we are. In the foul depths of the dungeon. A tunnel that went under the entire lake. Who would build such a thing? It's actually kind of cool. Quite handy. But wow. Yeah, that would have been quite a project. Even by today's standards. Yes. Alright. Die. Shale. Go ahead and get in there. Do your thing. Morgan. I'm actually gonna move up because I cannot see. Okay. I gotta make sure that Ash is in the right stance. Yeah, he is. Okay. Good to know. Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesa's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Possibly. Who are you supposed to be? My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. Why? What have you done? You don't know? I thought everyone knew. I poisoned Al Eamon. I knew. I just wanted to see if I could catch him in a lie. He. 
But no, okay. He's he's actually admitting it. What about all the walking corpses? I I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Why didn't they just kill you? I'm not sure. I think they intended to come back for me. But the screams, they just got worse. And nobody came. So did you summon this demon? No, I know nothing about summoning demons. Now, I could say, why should I believe what you say? But he already admitted to poisoning the Arl. What good would it do to lie about <laughs> the, uh, the, the zombie apocalypse? You know? That's just kind of... He, <laughs> he's already doomed. So, yeah. Um, do do. Why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelda, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica, a blood mage. You, a blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow, I have to! Jeez. So, uh... Loghain, he must have, but... Okay, he must have done this before the Battle of Ostagar. Um, because, uh... Arl Eamon was uh, delayed even before then. And, um... Right after the battle, when we went to Lothering, um, there were already knights that had been looking for a cure already. They had already exhausted all of their sources, so he had to have poisoned the Arl before the Battle of Ostagar. So that is, um, that's interesting. So Loghain had been planning this for some time. Alright, so... Why is Arl Eamon a threat, exactly? He only said that Arl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Logay? It's true. He used to have quite a good reputation. So Terran Loghain himself hired you? Yes. When the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It was the Terran. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. Why are you so eager to make things right? I'm not allowed regrets. I've made a stupid mistake at the Circle, and now I've made an even greater one. I'm not a bad person. There's no reason for you to believe me, but I'm not. I have to make up for what I've done. I have to try. Why did the Arlesa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the Circle of Magi would take him away for training. She sought an apostate. A mage outside the circle to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Hmm. Why would a soul be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Oh, I see. Hmm. Arl Eamon has no idea of his son's abilities? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. 
With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I see. I think I understand. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but if not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. Give me a chance, please. Well, I'm not sure everyone deserves a chance. But, uh, I suppose this guy seems forthright enough. Hmm. So how will you make things right? I... Well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. Okay, so he's willing to accept responsibility of his actions. That's good. That's good. I approve. That's commendable, if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? I'm letting you out of your cell. Don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? Hmm. You come with me, that's what. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. I want to help out, but... That, your party limit is full, and that would go against the rules of the game. <laughs> then help. Just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. That could be bad. It's rare, it is actually really rare that Morgan and Liliana agree on anything, so... I kind of felt like I had to do it. Anything in these cells? Probably not. Yeah, not seeing anything, but we open the doors anyway, because... It's a door! It's shiny! Open it! Alright, so let's be careful here. We're in, we're in a dangerous area. Who knows what we'll encounter? Demons, undead, nasties. A note. What's the note say? A rolled up note. I'll read it later. And, oh, incoming. Okay, Shale should be able to encompass this entire room, so go ahead. Oh, he actually has a broken bone, a crushed arm. Penalty to damage, not too bad, since he doesn't actually do damage. And let's go ahead and switch to Morrigan. And let's give that shambling corpse, since it's close, a crushing. Yeah. And start working on this guy. And try and give that guy a paralyze. Okay, that works. Leave Shale alone, meanie. Alright, so they're coming up with a better mind blast than I. Okay, let's get some of these dead. Okay, there's one left. No problem. That is some crazy flaming sword action right there. He's got telekinetic weapons, so he pierces armor, and he's got fire and uh, ice on his sword. I shall do it. He is, uh, he is crazy. Pile of bones, iron bark shield. Mm, interesting. Um, anything else? No. Okay. Shale, you can stop want? that. Thank you. All right, up the stairs to the main floor. Loading. Okay, so we're in this little room. All right, so now we're in Red Cliff Castle, main floor. And I'm off. He's off. 
Um, okay, so this is a rather large room. There's sure to be stuff in it. Oh. Demons. Get them. Okay, Shale, move in. Okay. Morgan, oh. We got a guy out in the hallway here. Let's go ahead and give him a, a crushing prisons down. I must have used it. Let's see if I can't give these guys a flame blast. I don't get to use this spell all that often. So be yeah. They're just trying to cast all kinds of debilitating spells on Ash. He can take it. Let's get rid of this stupid corpse so Leliana can get into the fight. Oh, there's more coming. Alright, Doggy took care of it. Good job, Doggy. No problem. Any more? No? Okay. Shale, you can stop that. And a book, History of the Chantry, Chapter 2. I like how they only keep specific chapters all over the world. Redcliffe got Chapter 2. How lucky. Oh, more. Oh, jeez. Come on out here and deal with me. Okay. Shale, yeah. go ahead and go right here. And Morgan, let's get to work. Flame Blast. It's not crazy powerful, but... That was... Look, I got four of them with that one. That was great. That's probably the best one I've done so far. And let's get a Shambling Corpse to a Russian prison. Okay. He is taking care of paralyzing that guy. Alright. No trouble. I shall do it. You shall do it. Uh, okay, that goes forward. I want to see what's in this room. Yeah, this one right here. Allow me. I could do that for you. Thank you. I shall do it. Bunch of treasure. Yeah, here we go. Redcliffe shield. Decent shield. No special abilities on it though. And a red steel axe too. Yeah. Red steel metal kite shield. Wowie wow. It's good stuff. I need something to um my my current shield has really good stats on it, specifically a chance to dodge, but it doesn't have <coughs> excuse me. Very well. It's not made of out of any really good materials. I think it's just iron. Or maybe grey iron at most. Hmm. So Finding a, a decent shield would be uh, much appreciated. Shale, you can turn that off, thanks. Okay, um, we've gone that way, gone. Okay, that way we can't go any farther. All right, this way. This is like a little sitting room. Interesting. Oh, I hear the music. Okay, go ahead and taunt. And Shale, move up. Yeah, look at all that stuns going out. That's really good because it gives me time to uh, get everyone in place. Like right now, they're all stopped and they're not moving anywhere. And I can flame blast them. Now there is a few moving in. There's one moving in. And Rabe's corpse. Take this. And while they're all together... Gotta keep these battles controlled. Since I, I actually don't do much damage yet. Whoa, what was that noise? That was crazy. Alright. Down you go. Corpse Gall. I do need some of that. And more Corpse Gall. Okay. And that's it. Right. Um, yeah, let's check out this direction first. Doggies! I 
heard her say trap, but I don't know where. Oh, that guy is a gold level, Mabari. Mm. And these guys can do, like, an overwhelm. Which is dangerous. Come on. Get in there. Uh, that's my Mabari. And let's put on a paralyzed that guy. Trying to weaken him. He resisted my weaken. Weaken doesn't seem to work on much, actually. Yeah, level up. Wow, that Maguari is strong. Yeah, he's resisting everything. That's one tough doggy. Alright. Black leather collar. Armor penetration and armor. And that's like a crappier version of the one I already have, actually. So, yeah. We're still doomed. <laughs> We're yeah. still doomed. Uh, and she gained a level, which is handy dandy. So she needs, uh, she could use some more constitution, to be quite honest. Um, I think she has enough magic to get any spells she wants. But I do need to have her with some more health, because she's dying a lot. Um, master combat training. Do I need to give her a combat training? Uh, yeah. Help her avoid getting knocked out of her spell casting. I need to give her herbalism eventually. I could use some more combat slots, though. Or tactic slots, rather. Alright, and now we can get fireball. Huzzah! Alright, so now she has a proper AoE attack. So that'll come in handy for sure. Ooh, lamb bone. That's for doggy. Um, War the Paint of the Tempest and War Paint, uh, Caddis of the Hakon Winter's Breath. So that's all good for specific elemental resistances and Charred Corpse with an Elf Fruit on it. And, okay. Lots of little things for the dog. Alright, moving forward. Oh, we got incoming. Oh, they went berserk. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna move, uh... Shale up just to here. Go ahead and turn that on. Leliana, go ahead and deal with this trap for me, would you? Oh, we got a whole bunch of people coming in. Alright, he's got that disarmed. Alright, it's tough to see this close, but... Um, let's turn on... Let's do an arrow of slaying on that guy. Morgan, oh, you're lined up for a... Let's see if I can't get a fireball. I need to kind of zoom out here. I want to try and make it so that I don't hit my own people, which is more difficult than it sounds, since I'm in kind of a tight spot. Right there, maybe? No, that won't work. Alright, we're too close quarters, so I'm just going to stick to Flame Blast for now. Ash can take some fire. Uh, let's see. Shambling corpse, do a paralyze on him. No, don't overwhelm. Oh, doggy, yeah, you can overwhelm. Ash is doing a fine job holding the threat. I, uh. I always usually relied on Alistair doing it. But, uh. Ash is performing the task adequately. Yeah. Actually better, because uh, because he's the main character and he has all those extra stat bonuses, he's actually, he's got more health than he normally would, more dexterity, all that stuff. So, so he's uh, quite quite a beast up there. Quite a beast indeed. I shall do it. Lots of corpse gall. Good. I need it all. And cup cabinets. I take all the stuff. And cabinets. Take the deep mushrooms. Huzzah. More Gorp Skull? Just monies. I like monies too, though. Okay, keep your eyes out, Liliana, for more traps, because there could certainly be more traps here. Uh, 
Uh, I see them. Let's see. Um, do go get an arrow sling in there. Shale, move up and give a stone aura. Prison. Yeah. Oh, we didn't do it. Come on. Good, it worked. Um, let's get a stun so I can get out of there. Alright, this devouring force is a bit stronger. But no match for me. I should uh, research um, Shale's uh, tactics a little bit more because um, I for I too often forget, as you guys might have noticed, to put him in his stone aura form. So that is a problem that I'm working on. Going. But I don't want him to go into it at the wrong point. Like if he goes in too soon, hmm, the basement. Uh, sure, let's go down here. Yes. Yeah. I think I, I thought I had just come from the basement, but apparently I didn't. And nothing down here though. Just lots of helpful stuff. Allow me. I could do that for you. Thank you. You'd think yes. there'd be monsters in the basement, but there is not. Alright. Some hardened leather boots. No big deal. Steel bracers, that's a gift I can give to anyone. And love letter that I need for a quest. And this goes up to the courtyard. Oh, right. So we need this. We need to actually go in here to... Um, we need to get to the courtyard to open up the gate so that the knights can storm the front gate. I actually just want to check to make sure I've done everything up here that I can. Luckily, the, the, the transition load times for there is not too bad. That's the courtyard. Huh. Ah, I actually can't get any further. I have to go down the basement. All right. Well, good. <laughs> well, that wasn't a waste of time at all. But you got to check these things. Um, I believe I can come back to this place later on if I remember correctly. Unlike the Fade, I can actually come back here. But I don't want to have to. You know, be thorough. You never know what kind of cool stuff you'll find. Okay, come on, loading screen. Okay, here we are at the courtyard. Alright, I need to hit that gate lever. Go! And they are up there. That's where the dots on the map say. First, let's hit this gate lever and get the knights in here. Two arms! Two arms. Okay. Oh, a revenant. Oh, man. Those guys are dangerous. Okay. Shale, get into position. Right there is fine. Okay, Morgan. Oh, I don't like revenants at all. Those guys are, are tough, tough customers. Did I put him in a crush in prison? I did. It, it, but it didn't seem to do much. Oh, whoa. <laughs> did he pull me? He did. Wow. That's crazy. Um, he's coming right at me, isn't he? I think he might be. He certainly is. Stun! Oh, that didn't work. Hell! See if I can weaken him. He's gonna pull me in. Oh, it didn't. Alright, it didn't work on me. Yeah, got him. <laughs> and dog is up there by himself. Help the dog! All of them? like it. As you wish. Yeah, those knights were helpful. Sir Perth, I knew you wouldn't let me down. 
I'm glad I let you live, spirit shard. Bleh. That's not a big deal at all, is it? Barrel. Injury kit. And that's where I came up. Landmark tree. Go ahead, Mabari. Do your little your little peepee -pee dance. Good job. Good boy, good boy. Go ring, you can sell that. Alright. I think we are okay. Let's talk to Sir Perth. You have opened the gates. That is good. My men and I are eager to see our Arl again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Hmm. Um, I can leave him out here, but I don't know what the purpose of that would be. Pretty sure he can help me out. Yes, let's go to the hall together. Excellent. Let us go now, then, and see what awaits us there. Let's go. Loading. Oh, hello. Wow, Tegan is quite nimble. That kid doesn't look evil at all, does he? So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes, Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... This is just a man, Connor. Like your father. Oh, I am tired of hearing about him. Besides, he's nothing at all like father. Look at him. Breathing and not dying in the slightest. I could change that, mind you. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone, Ma mother. What? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker, Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman! You are beginning to bore me. And here I thought I was the only one. <laughs> Maker's breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Hmm, so the boy is possessed by a demon, and she's trying to protect her son, but she can't do anything against her son because that would hurt her son. And yeah, she's in quite a pickle, isn't she? I have no intention of hurting him. I wish I could say the same! Wait! No, I don't. Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. It was a fair deal. Father is alive. Just as I wanted. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! Ha 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 ha! Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This man will have the audience he seeks. Tell us. What have you come here for? Hmm. I need to see Arl Eamon. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All the sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun. Frankly, it's getting dull. I crave excitement and action. 
This man spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village, and now he'll repay me. Uh-oh. There's Ben Tegan, and I'm gonna have to fight the guards, it seems. Hopefully I won't kill Ben Tegan. That would be bad. I don't want to do that. Okay. Well, everyone, do your thing. And the Arlesa ran. Good. She shouldn't be in this. Okay, let's see if I can't paralyze him. Did not work. Oh, it did work. Goody, goody. Alright, well, maybe I can put a crushing prison on these guys. And actually, that would be the perfect place to throw a... No. To throw a fireball! That doesn't hit all my guys. That was fun. <laughs> really don't want to kill these soldiers. Um, they know not what they do. But uh, I don't think I have much choice. And now, Van Tegan, don't die. I don't want to kill you. Oh, he's down. Tegan. Oh, okay, I didn't kill him. Are you all right? I am better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Hmm. I'm not about to kill a child. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. He's no more to blame than you are, Lady Isolde. How dare you! If this man hadn't poisoned my husband, none of this would have happened. He should be executed. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. Burn! But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Hmm. What are our options? We can't kill a young boy, demon or no demon. Please don't say we're considering that. Connor is my nephew, but he is also possessed by a demon. Death would be merciful. There is another option, though I loathe offering it. A mage could confront the demon in the Fae without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... blood magic. What difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. 
This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Hmm. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Okay, lyrium then. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. Whoa, 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 whoa. calm down. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh, it's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Hmm. There must be another way to enter the Fade. It requires Lyrium and more mages. We won't find them anywhere outside the Circle of Magi, I suspect. The Circle Tower is not far from here, and they owe me. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I will take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Okay. So, um, I definitely, um, hmm. sorry, guard, I had to kill you. Um, I definitely, uh, understand Isolde's, um, predicament. Um, especially being a woman of faith. Uh, magic is dangerous, blah, blah, blah. It's, uh, you know, the maker does not like it. Um, and if she, if her son's a mage, uh, it can't, she, he'll be taken away. He can't hold the title. All that stuff is bad. If, you know, he, Connor has a lot to lose. Um, and Isolde knows this, and so she's trying to, you know, get the best of both worlds, essentially. But it's irresponsible. And I guess she's trying to take responsibility for it now, and, you know, you know, if there's a sacrifice to be made, she wants to make it. You know, I'm actually not opposed to that, but there is another option. And while we have it, we should see if we can, see if we can get away with it. If we have to sacrifice someone or kill Connor, that's what we'll do. But um, someone's going to die regardless if we fail. So we need to get to the, the mage's help. And they do owe me. I do have the the, uh, the um, first enchanter's pledge of support. Can I actually get through here now? Huh. Not yet. See, I can't get to the up to the uh, the other halls. This leads outside. All right, let's uh, take just take a quick look around. Um, what about over here? I believe this goes upstairs. Yeah, that goes to the second floor. Oh, hello. These, uh, hey, do you guys know that your your suits of armors are animate and attacking us? Just by chance, does anyone know this? That would be a something you should tell me. All right, well, let's try and... Wow, lots of war cries going on. All right, well, at least the knights are coming in to help. Okay, let's see if we can't... Um, get a, uh, paralyze on one of them. Okay, that worked. Okay, got one down. Let's keep at it. Man, Ash is, like, practically invincible. Oh, wow, there's a whole bunch of guys. <laughs> Guess we are not finished just yet. No mercy! Rawr. All right. These guys are mostly taken care of. 
thanks to those knights that we let in to help us. Yeah, why wouldn't you want the knights help? Wow, that was crazy. They just came out of nowhere, didn't they? I now we know that there are guys in there. I saw their little circles. Okay, let's take care of them. Maybe I can fit a fireball through that door without possibly without hurting myself. Let's aim for the back there. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Um oh, we got a guy coming in close. I don't think so. like... Alright, that's it. Well, that was crazy. Let's go ahead and loot the place. Might as well make sure that we've taken care of everything. Right We're gonna away. have to make a quick trip over to the Circle Tower and get the mage's help. Yeah, let's... Oh, Redcliffe Vault Key. Hmm. I like that. Oh, these are... Oh, okay, never mind. Those are the pedestals the knights were standing on. On my way. And small silver ring. Hmm. Silk carpet can sell that. Okay. And a vanity. A dagger. And uh, this looks like an office of some kind. Let's check this out. Got a book. And. Alistair's mother's amulet. Huzzah! Now, Alistair told us that that thing was destroyed, but apparently that is not so. Alistair will be very happy to have that back. Okay, well, I think that's all for today. Next time, we will go ahead and uh, make the trek over to the Circle Tower and um, see if we can't get the mage's help instead of having to use blood magic. Until then, see you later.